It's not in you. It's out here. It's a familiar spirit. It's trying to play on what you don't believe. Then Pharaoh also called the wise men and the sorcerers. Now, the magicians of Egypt, they also did in like manner with their enchantment. For they cast down every man his rod, and they became serpents. But Aaron's rod swallowed up their rods. And he hardened Pharaoh's heart, and he hearkened not unto them as the Lord had said. So here we go. A lot of men of God that I know, not a lot, but the majority, when they, they say, look, look, the devil can do miracles too. These gods can do miracles too. I'm like, okay, I know that's what you want to believe, but let's just read what the scriptures say. And I saw three unclean spirits, like frogs, come out of the mouth of the dragon, and out of the mouth of the beast, and out of the mouth of the false prophet. But they are the spirits of devils, working miracles. But they are the spirits of devils, working miracles. They say, look, look, the devil can do miracles too. These gods can do miracles too. I'm like, okay. I know that's what you want to believe, but let's just read what the scriptures say. But they are the spirits of devils, working miracles. I know that's what you want to believe, but let's just read what the scriptures say. But they are the spirits of devils, working miracles. You will find many God that will tell you that, hey, but you don't understand because I know voodoo priests and I know doctors who use healing power, and so the enemy has power. And I saw one of his heads, as it were, wounded to death. And his deadly wound was healed. And his deadly wound was healed. And all the world wondered after the beast. And they worshipped the dragon which gave power unto the beast. You will find men of God that will tell you that, hey, but you don't understand because I know voodoo priests and I know doctors who use healing power. And so the enemy has power. And his deadly wound was healed. And all the world wondered after the beast. And they worshipped the dragon which gave power unto the beast. Well, my Bible says that all power and authority was given to Jesus. So who do you think I'm going to listen to? You think I'm going to listen to a voodoo priest telling me that he has power? Or am I going to listen to God that says all power and authority was given to Jesus? Did you know what all means? All means all power, all authority. For in that he put all in subjection under him, he left nothing that is not put under him. But now we see not yet all things put under him. But now we see not yet all things put under him. But now we see not yet all things put under him. So if he has all power, how much power is left? According to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience. So if he has all power, how much power is left? According to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that now worketh, the spirit that now worketh, the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience. But then they'll say this, but Pete, can people use the black arts to heal? Can people use, and this is where it gets really exciting, okay? There's this amazing thing. This is an amazing verse in the Bible that says that God gave dominion to man. And he's to subdue the earth. He's to subdue it. So we've been given dominion. Here's what I really love about how God, he, he gives his gifts, he gives this dominion, and they're not retractable. He can't take them back. Once he gives it, it's done. It's a done deal. And here's what the enemy does. Deception does. The deception, the deceiver, the liar, the, the idiot that he is, what he'll do is he'll use man's dominion and authority and power to use what was already his to deceive that person to think that the power of the dominion comes from the enemy and from the devil. Now, people will say, well, did the devil have power? The only power he has is to deceive. According to the prince of the power of the air. The only power he has is to deceive. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. The only power he has is to deceive. It is the deception that has you in bondage. It's the lie that has you in cages. It's the lie that has you sick. Because if you knew the truth, the truth will set you free. So if it's the lie that has you in bondage, we must agree that it's the truth that sets you free. So the thing is, we have to find truth in everything. Now, if we say it's true that the enemy has power, you just empower him. When Moses went to Pharaoh, and God told him to throw the snake down, 
All of that is the same thing, which proves the word, which proves that the enemy has power, which proves that the enemy has power. Now, if we say it's true that the enemy has power, you disempower him. When Moses went to Pharaoh and God told him to throw the snake down, Pharaoh's guys did the same thing, which proves, this is the word, which proves that the enemy has power. Now, if we say it's true that the enemy has power, you disempower him. When Moses went to Pharaoh and God told him to throw the snake down, Pharaoh's guys did the same thing, which proves, this is the word, which proves that the enemy has power. It's not in you. It's out here. It's a familiar spirit. It's trying to play on what you don't.